Hey guys, STL Youngblood with you, and what we're doing today is another episode of Captain's Log, and up until now, most of these have really been focused on your ship systems and how to kind of read and use your craft. Um, what we're going to do is start transitioning into, you know, combat tips, uh, fighting an arena commander, those sorts of things. Now, if this is the first time you've seen one of my Captain's Log videos, they're a little bit different from some of my other stuff. Um, these are more focused on in-game tips and advice. Now, I'm going to be putting a specific playlist for these videos in the description below. Um, and in this video, what we're going to be getting into is combat advice in a couple of key areas. Um, and that's going to be using missiles and some basic uh, engagement tips. Now, I'm going to do my best to try and keep these short and sweet, but I can get a little bit long-winded. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. Now, when it actually comes to using missiles, um, it's worth noting that missiles should be a supplemental tool. Um, they shouldn't be your primary, and if you find yourself relying on missiles, it would probably be best to actually play some rounds where you're not using missiles at all, and really honing your craft and actually aiming your uh, guns. Now, with missiles, though, there's some tips that I think can kind of help you get the most mileage out of them. And the first one is don't waste your missiles, and what I mean by that is don't waste your missiles at long ranges. It's incredibly easy to use flares and really just kind of avoid them altogether. So um, if you're chasing a target, missiles aren't always going to be your best bet. Or if you're approaching an engagement from a long range, don't lock and fire. Um, you know, that's not going to be your best bet. Now, that being said, if you're approaching an engagement, it's totally a good idea to lock really early on. Um, the enemy might not notice or even remember that you still have them in a missile lock, meaning that when you do get close enough to where missiles are actually effective, you could then pop it without having to waste the time of actually getting the lock, and they're going to have less time to actually flare and react to that. Now, one of the best times, and my personal favorite time to use a missile, is when you're in a joust. And when I say a joust, I really mean like when you guys are going head-to-head -head and you're about to pass each other. Um, that's the best opportunity for you to actually get that missile released and actually do damage on your target. So right as you're approaching and you're just about to pass each other, go ahead and release your missile. Not only does your missile not have that far to travel to actually hit the target, but because you guys are coming towards each other, it's actually going to have a greater impact as far as uh, speed. You know, it's a, I don't know, situational speed. You know, they're coming one direction, you're coming another. It's like that math problem saying two trains are heading toward each other. Um, it's going to just be a lot more effective. So practice what works best in that situation, and you're going to find a lot more success. Now, I wouldn't even really bother planning on using missiles against a uh, 350 or an M50, especially if they're planning on running away. You know, right now, um, the missiles don't really track them very well. They're too fast. Uh, they're not really that effective. And even if it can track them and keep up with them, they still have all that time to get chaff or flare out and try and uh, lose that lock. So the best time to use it against a 350 or an M50 is the same deal when you're approaching each other. Or if you're kind of sneaking up on them fighting somebody else, then it can be moderately effective. But just don't try and get too comfortable with the idea of using missiles against those ships just because they're really too fast for it to be effective. Um, right now, flares and chaff are kind of buggy at the moment. So I'm not really going to get into how to avoid missiles at this time until we actually get these kind of corrected and adjusted and working as they should. Um, but I do want to make you aware of something. Um, I'm going to be shutting up for a second and playing a sound for you. So listen up. What you heard there is the sound of somebody targeting you and getting that missile lock. That can be a real indicator that something's actually going to be coming your way. Now, that does two things for you. One, it lets you know that somebody's planning on engaging you. So, kind of keep an eye or an ear out for those types of things. And it can kind of help you with your overall situational awareness. The other benefit is, is that it's going to allow you to be more prepared to release your flare to avoid that missile altogether. That can be really helpful if you don't have it bound to something that's really convenient for you to hit. Though I would suggest you make it something that's convenient to hit because missiles are very, very prevalent right now. Whether that be from the Vandal and Vandal Swarm and the Elites, or whether that be players in uh, Battle Royale. Do take note though that the sound that I played for you guys is the sound that's in the uh, Hornet. And that's going to be different for which ship you're flying. So if you're in Aurora or 300 or when the Gladiator comes out, those all may be different sounds. So just get familiar with what sounds your ship actually makes. Now the second piece of this that I want to get into is about not getting too focused on engaging just one ship. And that's going to include all the like picking your targets that are in front of you. It's going to be about people that are sneaking up behind you. Um, it's all about situational awareness. Now when it comes to picking your target, let's say you're in Battle Royale and you come up on two ships that are fighting each other. 
I personally prefer to take or target the ship that's taking more damage. You could say targeting the loser of the fight. This is going to make that kill a lot easier for you because that other player is already doing a whole lot of damage. And even though you're picking the weaker opponent to kill um, and the stronger one's still going to be alive, the player that they were fighting against, the loser, is still doing some damage, unless they're really terrible, to that other ship. And that's going to make your job easier for that better pilot or just the one that's in a healthier ship. Um, that's going to be the situation that's going to allow you to get the most damage on the target and give you the best shot of killing both of them. Now, don't think of this as being cheap or stealing a kill. You know, in, in this game type, it's everyone versus everyone, and you're only concerned about yourself. It's really what it is, is it's playing smart, and it's putting you into the best situation possible to win. In this game right now, it's really, really easy to get kind of caught up in the moment. Um, and while you're trying to kill somebody else and you're following them or maybe in a strafe fight and not really realize that there's someone shooting you from behind. Now, not only are the sounds really sporadic right now, um, and unless you're really paying attention to the HUD, they can do a lot of damage to you before you really know what's going on. Um, your best bet, at least what works for me the best, is watching for missed projectiles that are flying past your ship. That's normally the first thing that clues me, you know, kind of clues me in. If there's bullets that I'm not firing passing me, there is somebody behind me. And whether they're engaging the target I'm fighting or they're engaging me, I don't like having somebody behind me. Try your best not to be stubborn. Break off your attack. You know, unless that person you're fighting is literally a few shots from being dead. Turn around and engage your new enemy. I promise you it's going to keep you alive a lot longer. Um, you're going to be able to deal damage to them. And you're going to end up having a better chance at winning overall. So, that's going to do it for this episode of Arena Commander. Hopefully you guys got some uh, bits or pieces uh, that were uh, valuable to you. Um, if this was more basic, don't worry, there's more advanced stuff coming. If there's anything in particular you want to see, leave it in the comments and I'll see if I can address it for you. Um, otherwise, if you're not yet, go ahead and uh, subscribe. Stay tuned for a whole lot more uh, Captain's Log, and I will talk to you all later. Take care.